Hey guys, today we're going to be doing this look and I'm calling this kind of a bronze goddess look because that was sort of uh, what I had in mind. I wanted to do just very kind of glowy, sort of sunny face, you know, and cheeks and then have kind of um, a nude eye but with a little bit of drama towards the outer portion of the eye. So this is the look we're doing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with priming my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. So today I'm going to be using my Too Faced Summer Eye Palette and I used to love this palette and then for some reason I just kind of forgot about it so I was shopping my stash and dug it out and I have fallen back in love with it again. So I'm going to be using this color here, this is Peach Fuzz, I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. defining brush. And this does have really tiny shimmer in it so I'm going to try really hard to get my camera to focus here. And okay, I'm going to just pat that gently over the inner part of my lid here, right on through the middle. And I just want to pat really carefully because I don't want that glitter fleeing out all over my face. And this peach fuzz is a fairly sheer color, so you're not going to get a whole lot of coverage with it. Your, your skin is still going to show through. Oh, camera. Your skin is still going to show through, so you know that's why it's good that we use that Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, so it gave us a little bit of a base to start with. So the next color I'm going to be using is Toasted Coconut, this one here. And I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And this is going to go at the outer portion of our eye here. I kind of like to do sort of a half moon or kind of like a crescent moon. We're just going to go in with a darker color. This is Chocolate Sun. I'm going to take that on this e.l.f. Let's see, this is a crease brush, but it's really tiny, so it's going to work perfect for this. Because I, I don't want too much darkness in this look, so I'm just going to take that color right on the tip. And we're basically going to trace um, kind of the shape that we want here. So I'm just going to come out as if I was doing a winged liner but a little more exaggerated, just kind of staying in the center of that lighter brown that we just used, the toasted coconut. We don't want to take it out too high. Am I in focus? Okay, geez. I want the darkest part to be along the outer part of my lashes here. So I'm just going to trace that right along the lash line. Alright, so just like that, just traced along the lash line, out with a slight wing, and then up into the crease just slightly. And we're going to go ahead and blend this out. I'm going to take my Sedona Lace, this is the 863 blending brush. I'm just going to lightly blend that up. And on the tip of my blending brush, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the toasted coconut and just hit right in our little outer V right there and just kind of drag that in a little. Alright, and once you're blended you should have a nice bit of warmth from that toasted coconut kind of on your lid and then kind of helping to blend out that darker color, that chocolate sun. There's not a color in here that I, I want to use for my brow highlight there. Um, the light colors are kind of shimmery. So I want to use a matte, I'm going to use MAC Brulee and just use that as my brow highlight. I'm using MAC Dazzle Light just to brighten up the inner corner a little. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of that toasted coconut color again, just the warm brown, just on the tip of my um, Essence of Beauty brush here and just run that along the outer third of my eye. Now for eyeliner I'm going to be using MAC Black Track Fluid Line with my MAC 208 angled liner brush. And I'm going to keep it really close to the lash line because I don't want the liner to be the most noticeable part, um, you know, along the front part here. I want it to be really clean. And I'm not even taking it in all the way. I'm just kind of stopping about midway through. 
Um, I have a lot of wrinkles like on my eyelids. They kind of like like a little, little skin fold, so they get in the way because my eye kind of droops down here. So I, I basically my trick for dealing with um, you know a lot a lot of folds in the eye is to start the wing as far down as you can. So I mean you don't want it to be too far down, but just to try to miss a lot of those folds. And of course, I always aim for the tail of my brow here for the, the direction. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm actually going to be mixing these two. So I'm going to start with my Yves Saint Laurent. This is just a little sample of the Yves Saint Laurent um, Faux Sils. I like the way it defines, but I like the way that the CoverGirl kind of builds up the volume. Oops, I just remembered something that I did on this side that I forgot to do on this side, and that was use my MAC chromographic pencil on my waterline just to kind of brighten it up. So I don't know if you can see the difference. It's a little bit brighter down there, kind of helps round out my eye a little more, and this one's a little more squintier looking. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, so eyes are done, and I'm gonna go ahead and do face on camera too, um, because I really want to match this eye look up with um, kind of like a very bronzed goddess sort of look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little powder first though, because I'm looking a bit shiny. So this is another product that I've pulled out from deep within my stash since I've been shopping my stash lately. This is my Dior powder in apricot beige, which they discontinued my color. It's kind of cut the shine a bit here. Mostly just in the T-zone kind of area. I typically don't powder, but just inside under the bright lights, it just always kind of looks off um, if, if you don't. You, look, you always look extra shiny. For bronzer, I'm going to be using Victoria's Secret Goddess. This is one of their baked bronzers, and I'm going to take that on my Sedona Lace 850. I'm not going to be contouring really, just kind of bronzing up. I'm going to hit up here on my forehead just a little, just to kind of hit where the sun naturally would. And then whatever's left on my brush, I just like to kind of hit the nose a little. Now to keep within the kind of bronze goddess sort of look, I just want the skin to look kind of soft and glowy and tanned. And I just want to keep the blush along the same line, so I'm going to be using MAC Sun Basque, and it's just this subtle kind of terracotta tan shade. And it does have a bit of shimmer to it, so I'm just going to be careful not get too much on. Just kind of hit the cheeks, and that'll help keep, help keep it from looking too matte. It'll help keep the glow, but just give a touch of color without looking, you know, like you've got blush on. Now for lips, I want to keep with that sort of glowy tan look, so we're going to kind of do like a warm, soft nude lip. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever, let's see, I almost called it Matte Velvet Plus, that's, that's my foundation. This is Aqua Lip in 1C. So here we go. I don't know why I say the things I do sometimes, so here we go, okay. Yes, we are putting on lip liner. And then I'm using MAC Freckle Tone. Just a nice luster, a subtle warm nude. Okay, and here is our finished look. So we're looking very kind of bronzed, peachy, um, kind of like maybe we've been out in the sun a little. And I really like the eye look because it's clean and it's a change from what I was doing there for a long time, uh, which was heavy lashes and lots of dark makeup. But um, you know, this is this is a really nice kind of refreshing change for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to do more kind of similar light fresh tutorials for you. Um, beachy tutorials, I've got some of those planned and I guess I can go ahead and zoom about. Zoom about, I can zoom about, yes. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see my ugly old plug back there. Yes, okay. 
Whoa, all right, now you're looking at my mirror. So here is the final look, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you try it out. It's really fun to just shop your stash and just kind of dig through and see what new things you can find, or things that maybe you used to love and you can rediscover them again. Uh, so I will go ahead and let you guys go, and I have a ton of videos coming up. I was just thinking, it was just spinning through my head, oh, I've got all these recipes coming up that I want to share with you. I just made this awesome lip scrub today that I'm so excited to share. So, um, okay, I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.